everyone, it's me Mr. G. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another collections video. Today we're going to do the Game Boy Color. As I said in my video yesterday, I was going to do my Game Boy and my Game Boy Color together, but I didn't realize how many games I had for each system. So I decided to do my Game Boy, uh, my original Game Boy yesterday and my Game Boy Color today. Once again, I was going through my Game Boy Color games and I had no idea how many games I had and some pretty good games too. So today we're going to look at it. Um, first, I just want to do a shout out to two of my friends who have joined my channel, uh, Joey and Eric. Uh, shout out to you guys they joined my channel yesterday I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and I just want to do another shout out to my friend Ehab once again um, if you've seen all the editing in my videos now the new opening all the little graphics and everything my friend Ehab is doing all these all these graphics and all the editing so Ehab once again I have to say thank you so much for everything you're doing it's looking so good dude um, so anyway can you believe that today is my 19th console collection i'm already on 19 uh, my 19th collection i actually still have quite a few left um about five or six i believe but yeah this is my 19th one so uh this is my game boy color i do have two console two game boy handhelds and a couple of games so let's just jump straight into it and let's have a look at what i've got so first i have um a clear purple game boy color um, for the life of me, I cannot remember where I got this. I was trying to think about it all of last night. I think it was a yard sale or Goodwill or something, but for the life of me, I don't know where I got this. So I have a clear purple uh, Game Boy color, which is really nice. And in this one I found in a yard sale a while back, I got it for $10, uh, the Pokemon Game Boy color. Um, this is worth about a hundred dollars now. It's actually quite insane how much this is worth now. Um, it's not in the best condition. It looks like a cat or something to the top. Um, but I do have like Pokemon Game Boy Color. That's really cool to have in my collection. And then as I said yesterday, I walked into a Goodwill and I found a bunch of Game Boy games with their booklets and that includes some of the Game Boy Color games. So I have R-Type DX booklet. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, I have the booklet. And The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, which is really, really cool. I don't have Oracle of Ages, unfortunately. So I have three booklets for the, my Game Boy Color games. Um, the other thing is, is that the light in this room is so bad. It keeps reflecting off my glasses and my games. If you saw my video yesterday, I was holding up the games and the light was shining. You couldn't even see them. It was so stupid. So I kind of moved my camera over and I'm hoping that you don't see the light. I'm going to try my best to not let the <laughs> light hit the games. But anyway, let's just jump into the game. So I have a few like average games. Um, I have Harry Potter. Winnie the Pooh. Uh, the Wild Thornberries, Stuart Little, Gex 3, Pong, and Rainbow Six. So that's just some of my average games I have. Um, and then I have Pokemon Pinball. Which I believe it takes a battery in the back. Um, I think you tilt it. It actually uses motion control. So I have that. And I have now the rest of these I have in the original case in the plastic covers, the protective covers. I have Tetris DX, uh, Miss Pac Man, which is really, really cool on the Game Boy Color, playing Miss Pac Man. Uh, Wario Land 2. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, which is a great game on the Game Boy Color. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. And this one is called Magic Nation. I have no idea what this game is. I've actually never played it. Magic Nation. Kind of looks like that movie The Page Master with Macaulay Culkin. And this is another great game. Rayman. Looks really, really good on the Game Boy Color. 
uh, and then I have Mario Tennis, a really, a really amazing game on the Game Boy Color, and it actually connects to the Nintendo 64 game. You use the transfer pack, you put this in, you can transfer your characters to the Nintendo 64 game, and I do have Mario Tennis and the transfer pack, so you can actually transfer all that. Really, really cool. Really looks really good and plays really good on the system. And then I have... Um, Wait, did I already show that? Oh no, that was Tetris. So this is R-Type DX. That's another amazing game. I do have the booklet like I showed you. Rampage. Another great game. Pokemon trading card game. A classic for the system. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Looks and plays amazing on the Game Boy. And The Legend of Zelda. Oracle of Seasons, which I showed you the booklet. Unfortunately, I do not have Oracle of Ages. I have it virtually on my 3DS, but I don't have the original. I wish I did. These are some of the few Zelda games I've never played. I need to play these one day because I am such a huge Zelda fan and these games look really, really cool. So I do need to play that, unfortunately. And then I have Shadowgate Classic. And I have this on the Game Boy and, and I have the color version as well. The Legend of Zelda DX, Link's Awakening. Uh, really, really amazing on the Nintendo Switch with the updated graphics. I've never played the originals though, but I do have it. And in this one, I was quite surprised. It's a $20 game, Hamtaro, Hamtaro. I have no idea what this game is. It's got a little hamster. Hamtaro, I guess. <laughs> it's like a super expensive $20 game. Pretty insane. Um, I did find this at Goodwill behind the case uh, in the front. It was a couple of dollars. It is complete in box. It's Game & Watch Gallery 2. Um, it's kind of... Is this reversed? I can't even tell. <laughs> I can't even tell. Um, but I did find this in Goodwill. This is in my collection. It is complete in box. It's the only Game Boy Color I have complete in box. So that is also part of my Game Boy Color collection. Anyway. So yeah, that is my Game Boy Color games. Um, I think I have about over 20 games for the system. All of these were Goodwill scores. Um, I, I picked up most of them in Goodwill. I did pick up one from the guy on OfferUp who sold the Game Boy Micro that I talked about in my previous video. And I think I got one or two in a yard sale. But most of these were all Goodwill scores. So that is my collection. Um, I still have my PlayStation 2, my PlayStation 3, my Nintendo 64, my Xbox 360, and my Game Boy Advance collection. We still have to go. Those are the biggest game collections I have. There are more games in those collections than any other systems I own. I have hundreds and hundreds of games for those systems. So I kind of want to leave those videos for next week because tomorrow is Thanksgiving and um, my wife is up for the long weekend, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to make any more collections videos this week. I'm going to wait till next week because those videos are going to go super long because I have so many games for those collections. And I need to figure out how I'm going to edit it and how I'm going to film it because there's so many games for those collections. It's crazy. So there's not going to be any more collections videos this week, but I do think I'll make some other videos of stuff I own. And Sunday I'll do my pickups of the week. So tune back next week for the the, the final five consoles for my collections. My final five collections. Those videos are going to be the best because they are the biggest and they are some of the best systems of all time. So anyway, I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much food. I know I'm going to. If you can tell, I'm a big fat fatty. <laughs> and enjoy Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm Mr. G. Give me a like, subscribe. I'm out.